All right. So I just did that, that camphor, which rounded out the screen here. And I'm going to start to create selection sets and throw some basic materials on here just so I can get a feel for how this is starting to look. So this is going to be a chance for me to introduce you to the idea of selection sets. When I clicked on polygons here, it still had all those polygons selected from when I did the camphor to create the screen. But I need to add these last four polygons around the edge because those didn't get selected. And then I want to be really careful here and just look at the whole thing. Make sure I didn't select anything other than those polygons. And with those polygons selected, up here in the middle of the screen, do you see a little window that says Create Selection SE? And if you mouse over it, little window falls out, says Named Selection Sets. Assign a name to the current selection or pick. Oh, you little communist thing. It won't give me the little flyout menu. There we go. It's going to, it's going to show up here. There we go or pick a saved set from the list. There we go. So I've got these polygons selected. I'm going to call them screen. The name I gave them was screen. I'll hit my enter key. And now, you know, if I select another one of the polygons, if I select another polygon, I can go to that drop down menu and just grab the screen. That's kind of cool. Now I'm going to grab all these faces here. So that gets me the whole, all the outside faces of the box and this face, these four faces, and then this first bevel in. Those set of faces right there, that, that's, I'm going to paint all of those brown. When I look at the reference image, those are all this light brown, this little kind of too much cream in it, coffee color brown. So now I've got my brown set of polygons. I got my screen that I can select. So I'm going to deselect that. This part right here, these polygons, these are the polygons that make that part that stick up. It's just going to be eight polygons, but I've got those eight polygons selected and I'm going to call this gold. I've got my brown, the whole outside, got my gold and I've got my screen. And then there's one last set. It's going to be four polygons. Those two. these two, four polygons, and these are going to be called black. All right. So now I've kind of arranged that out, got, got these various polygons named right here, and I'm going to need to get my material editor. You know, and I can cycle through all these, what I'm going to paint brown, what I'm going to paint gold, my screen, and, and the black part. So I'm going to turn on the material editor by pressing the M key. The M key opens the material editor. Now, in my material editor, I'm just going to make some simple materials. Um, looks to me like the gold material and even the brown material, they're kind of like shiny. And so I'm going to use... Uh, shellac. I'm going to bring in a shellac. So 
And then for the brown, the colors they come in with, and I'm going to call this one brown, so I'll click on the parent, name it brown, and I'm going to click on this dominant color, which is currently red, and I'm going to change its diffuse channel to like, is that kind of close to the brown that I see on that TV? Is it a close, close match? Close enough for government work. I'll click OK. There we go. I like it. Now over here in Max, I've set up this brown color. Let me select the selection set that I want to paint brown, which is this part. OK. And then I'll get the material editor up here. And move this over so I can get my hands on the little noodle right here pull the little noodle out of the brown and mouse it over until I'm over the part that I want to apply it to. I'll release my mouse and I'll do a quick render to see what's it looking like. And I might want to change that. That looks a little too bright. So I'll come over here and adjust that. A little bit browner. That's better. I think that even matches the color a little better. No, not at all. For brown, nope. Back to the material editor. Like that. That's more like it. Still, it's a different, just a different shade of brown. And I've got something over here. It's, it's like I have to use my brain and remember, and my memories don't always work well. But I can put this over here on this computer. Are you kidding me? Turn to the scene of the crime. Thank you, student. All right. I'll be okay with that brown. Just for right now, I'm happy with it. That'll work for me, for my purposes. So that's going to take care of this first material. What I'm going to do here now that I've, I'm satisfied with it, so I'm going to collapse all of these down and tell it to stack vertically for me. Done with my brown material. I'm going to bring in another shellac. This one I'm going to call gold. I'll go ahead and double click on the diffuse color. That looks just about right change my selection set to gold. So now I've got what I want to paint gold. Grab the little dongle right here, mouse it over the model, and let it go. And now when I do a quick render, I can see that, hey, I'm starting to get some detail here, aren't I? And I'm even able to see some of this stuff coming together because of these materials I've added. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, that's okay. That was, that was just Mr. Um, Tuminelli pulling you out to talk to you and try to help you uh, refocus your attention. Good. We all need stepdads. And I'll collapse those, stack them right here. Now, for the black material, it, it's I can just use a standard physical material for that, which I'll create, and I'll set it to the blackness of night. And I'll change my selection set to what I want to paint black, which is just that little strip right there. Collapse that down and grab the little dongle here and mouse over the model and apply that. And 
I'm going to click on the render settings. Right now, the renderer is just rendering a 640 by 480 basic view. But if I were to change the output size to HDTV video, then the size goes, it's like three, it triples the size. Instead of 640 by 480, I'm 1920 by 1080. I like that. Let me see what that render looks like. Takes a little bit longer and looks a little bit nicer. Now, can you can see that black, the black part showing up. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to do the screen. Vertically stack those. I'm going to bring another physical material in. This one I'm going to call screen. And my screen is going to be a light blue. It's going to be a light blue, but I'm going to make it transparent. So I get it set to a light blue. And you'll notice that under the base color, the next category is called transparency. I'm going to set the transparency to 0.9. That, that's almost completely transparent. You know, I may even back it off to like 0.85. In fact, maybe I will just to make it show up a little bit more. But now it's transparent. So when I do a render here, you might be thinking, well, nothing changed, right? You might think nothing changed, but let's check something out. Um, let me get off polygons. I'm just on my editable poly. Let me press my W key get my move tool and good. I did put this thing at zero, zero, zero. I'm going to hide my selection and right where, right where the, um, TV used to be, I'm going to build a teapot. I'm going to put a little teapot right there and I'm going to zero it out and move it up a little bit. And then I'm going to unhide all. Now, looking at this, you might be thinking, well, you know, uh, there's a teapot inside of there, isn't there? And I clicked my way through, by the way. You know, right now, I know there's a teapot there. I click once, I get the case. I click a second time, I get the teapot. That's how you click through an object. Now, I put this like right near the front of the screen. But, you know, I can't see anything in the viewport here, but watch what happens when I do a render. Nothing. Booth, what did I forget? Bruh. Bruh. Let me see. Polygons. Modify tab. Let me get this thing. Polygons. That's my screen. Where's that material at? Here it is. This is my, my material. I set it to blue with a 0.85 transparency. Did I not bring this out and apply it? Maybe I didn't apply it. Played myself. There it is. Now there's a teapot on TV. Yeah, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Well, I have a teapot on TV. See, I made the screen transparent so I could see through the screen. So that basically is how I uh, basic, ha applied basic materials to this. So I could also get an idea of what is it beginning to look like. This thing that I'm building. That's the render settings. Here we go. And this is, it's beginning to, to look a lot like what I'm trying to build. You know, it's even got that, that raised edge all the way around here in that gold band. And there's some fine tuning I could do with this, but I'm pretty pleased with how this worked out. I'm going to stop this video and get it uploaded.